So this is why my Kingdom Hearts 3 fabric poster had Woody on it. Hey everyone, I just watched the trailer for Toy Story 4, and man oh man, does it look tasty. Look at all the detail, look at all the shininess that you see with Bo and, and other characters in the background and whatnot. It just looks bright and pretty. I'm not gonna lie to you folks, uh, I had no idea that Bo was ever gone in the first place. Like, I feel like if Pixar just erased Bo from existence, I honestly don't think anybody would have noticed. I mean, I didn't really notice personally. I thought she was just going to be in Bonnie's fleet of toys that Andy relinquished to her in Toy Story 3. Turns out she just wasn't in the background after all. She actually went missing, and that's cool. We get to see a cool backstory about how she's dealing with the free life, not being tied down by a single master or owner of toys, which is giving more perspective for the identity and purpose of a toy. Like, you see, you see Woody having some doubts about his purpose, and he, he's starting to question his morals a little bit. Like, why am I serving this kid? I could just be running around in the field. I'm an immortal, sentient, plastic, child's plaything. I could do anything I want, if I wanted to. I mean, what's exactly stopping all of these toys from just running away and living their own life on, like, some ranch or something? I could honestly see that happening in the Toy Story franchise. Because, you know, Woody's a cowboy... Bo's a shepherd. She's got that, like, shepherd staff thingy. And, and Jessie's a cowgirl. Like, I could see them on a ranch having a few cows. I don't even think they need to eat. They just need to, they just need to be there and, and live their life. And they'll just be fine. I'm glad Disney's doing one of these movies. Because, like, you see it all the time in anime. Where, like, either protagonist or antagonist, depending on what show you watch, is just, like... What is my purpose? I think you see it in Mewtwo. Mewtwo Strikes Back in Pokemon. Yeah, that's definitely a main theme for that. You see it in Naruto in the beginning with Haku and, and Zabuza, and Zabuza kind of takes advantage of him. That would kind of suck if Bo is like the Zabuza and Woody's like Haku, if you guys get that analogy, where basically Woody questions his purpose in life as a toy, and Bo kind of gives him a new answer a new outlet and then he follows Bo and she uses that to manipulate him into doing some nefarious stuff and I don't know what that would be but that would be an interesting uh plot twist that'd be nice but I don't think it's gonna happen I don't think that's gonna happen Bo seems too nice of a character of course that's what we said about Lotso and we all know how that turned up so who knows? It'd be very interesting to see her as the antagonist, having some bitter resentment for Woody. I would probably hold a grudge like that too, if that were going to be a theme in Toy Story 4. Like imagine if you were in a friend group of like 10 people, and you're the one that they always forget about. Imagine how that would make you feel. Like you're the least important character in the story. I don't care if you're the most popular kid in town, who you are, whatever. Everybody's got a story. A toy story. Boom. I just blew your mind. I blew my own mind. This is what I like about a franchise here. They've established the meaning behind their name. And what they stand for and what they're going to stand for 100% throughout time and however long they're going to make these movies basically. And this whole franchise isn't just about the story of Woody and Buzz and all the main characters. It's about every single toy has their own story. Let's, let's find out what they have to say. Just like humanity, we all have a story. I said it before like 20 seconds ago or however long. I'm not counting. We all got a story. We all got something to share. And... Sometimes we don't feel like we're listened to, but I'm ready to listen to what Bo has to say because she's been through some stuff. She's got a dark past. You know, I would have trust issues if somebody just 
forgot about me. Not only will I feel guilty about getting rid of my toys and all of my stuff, but I'll also feel guilty if I ever forget about anyone I know or any toy that I used to have that, you know, I'll just forget, sweep under the rug. There's a lot of guilt. I feel like there, that's, that's what the main theme of Toy Story is going to be about. That Toy Story's always been about, basically. Guilt. I feel guilty that I want to get rid of my toys. I don't want to abandon anybody. If they're sentient. That'd be crazy. All the betrayal they have to go through. Maybe that's what Woody's thinking about. It's like, you know, Andy just gave me up to this random girl. And I'm just supposed to take that? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just decide my own fate. And live my life you could tell in the trailer that woody's definitely tempted to be like you know i could actually do this this would be pretty sweet if i could just leave and never come back but i know that guilt same guilt that we all feel in every single toy story movie that he's got a post to keep up he's got toys looking up to him at bonnie's house and he can't leave That'd be like a father abandoning your children. You can't just do that. That would ruin the household. Imagine how those little alien things will grow up if they realize that Mr. Potato Head doesn't love them. He just leaves his wife, Mrs. Potato Head. He just picks up and leave out of nowhere because he's desperate or something. He needs some sort of freedom. I could probably empathize with that if he had like a really toxic relationship with Mrs. Potato Head. I mean, like, I, th I think she slapped him in the face with her purse once. And that's okay, because it's a, it's a girl hitting a guy, so that's not technically domestic violence, I don't think. Um, but he's got kids. You gotta take care of your kids. You know, the moment you have a child, that child becomes your life. It doesn't matter who you're seeing. You gotta try and make some sort of a presence for the kids, for the sake of the kids. And that is basically what Woody is thinking about doing. He's thinking about hightailing out of there, out of all of his responsibilities, just to go with his ex-girlfriend at some carnival and live the rest of his days. Which I can get. I can understand. But you got kids. You got to be there for the kids. You got to be there for your toy family. And, and I think that's why Woody's going to stay. Okay, can we talk about this fork thingy that's going to be in the movie? Like, this raises a lot of questions to me. Like, is this going to be how babies are born, except for toys? Are we going to have the birds and the bees about, about toys? This is a kid's movie, for crying out loud. I don't know if I want to see that. Because, like, it's a bit... It's a bit uh, uh, X-rated for me. I don't want to see it. I just don't want to see it. I, I just like thinking about it being a stork made in china that just comes down and and brings it in a brings the toys in a sack i'm pretty sure that's where santa claus comes into play he's probably like a subcontractor and he hires cheap labor from china to to bring over the goodies and like whatever cool stuff they have to do behind closed doors it's the same thing with like food inc where they have a bunch of cow factories and chicken factories and it's just gross and cruel and disgusting and unsanitary. I don't want to know what they do. It's probably going to make me not ever want to buy toys again. But yeah, it seems like a good movie. I've given you my thoughts. What are your thoughts? What do you got? Tell me down in the comments section below. I want to hear from you. I love you all. And this is going to be a good movie. I feel like my faith in Disney is slowly returning with this trailer because it's going through a lot of juicy, deep topics. And they're going to have a strong female protagonist that I like, that actually has a personality that's actually strong but can still be feminine. That's important. I mean, don't get me wrong. If women want to be masculine and take on that role, that's cool too. But you got to present it accordingly. Might I suggest The Legend of Korra? Disney, they would love your funding. Please pick them up. If they picked up the Avatar series for like a part three, that would be cool if they did that. But I digress. I know there was a lot of crap with uh, Captain Marvel. I made a video talking about the whole political stuff 
and how it kind of turned everybody off from actually watching it. I saw it. It wasn't that bad. It was a little too formulaic. But that's just the name of the game when it comes to big corporate structures. And that was the main theme of that whole video. If you guys care to take a look at that video, that would be cool. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your thoughts on that video was. But to kind of wrap it all up, this movie is going to be a movie that people are going to watch. Why? Because it doesn't get too involved in politics. There's a lot of tragic and controversial stuff that happens all the time. But for an hour and 30 minutes, can we just enjoy life just a little bit? Can we enjoy art without having to mix politics into it? This is coming from a guy who listens to punk rock, okay? I love how politics get mixed into that, but for every single song? Come on, man. This time I hope Disney plays a different tune than it's been playing. And if you enjoyed the video and enjoyed what I have to say, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and the bell icon for whatever reason. I don't know what it's for. And I hope you enjoy everything about your life and find some way to get a little peace in this chaotic world. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.